Do I look pretty? My, my... You, that was different than what it was before. It's perfect. The last one was perfect. What, Matt? Am I pretty? You You're are gorgeous. gorgeous. Thank you. Um, okay, what, what, what should I talk about? What is your view on the afterlife? What do you think happens after people die? That's way too open-ended for what this is supposed to be. <laughs> way to start, like, gentle. All right, you know what? You know, we talked about demons. We talked about demons recently. I have demons in my brain. Uh <laughs> no, you don't do Why do the monsters come out in, at night? In, in a, okay, right. now let's talk about... Okay, let's talk about demons. Let's talk about demons. All right, What's so are, are there different levels okay. of demons? Do they have black eyes? Do the demons have black eyes? Like, yes. supernatural? Yeah. <laughs> there is no documentation to suggest such a thing. If I put a box in a crossroads, can I kiss someone? Wait, wait. You can kiss me in the crossroads. Oh, okay. Don't All right. Anyway. Excited. Anyway. All right. So, so let's talk about demons. So, um, you know, let's talk about. Let's talk about. Um, no. Let's do. Let's do Enoch. First Enoch. I knew you were gonna go there. Okay. So it's I so have, much I have more a fun. question from the uninitiated, and that <laughs> is, whoops, is Enoch? Whoops. Okay. Is the Enoch? <laughs> And how do I get their number? <laughs> okay, so, so do I come up and put so, to the slut? No, I'm just saying that my own right. This is, this is well, a disaster. Well, that wasn't me trying to make fun of you. This is a disaster already. I, thought it was I am looking forward to doing more of these in the future. This is gonna be a great time. This is gonna uh, be ridiculous. Okay. So, so here's the deal with with um with Enoch. Oh, so Enoch, in the Bible, is one of the patriarchs of the Jews. Uh, he is the only, or the first person, I should say, the first person to, uh, go straight to heaven instead of dying. God's just like, you know, Enoch, I gotta be honest. Like, uh, this is like halfway from Adam. We were like 10 generations from Adam. I don't know off the top of my head. We're like 10 generations from Adam. Basically, Adam bangs Eve and then they have kids. Um, but then, then Cain, Cain kills Abel. And, and then after, after Cain kills Abel, you get this guy named Seth. Um, I don't know who decided that Seth was a good name, because um, every Seth that I've ever met in person has just been despicable. Um, there's like, so like, I, I'll, I'll give them this. Seth Green and Seth uh, McFarlane are really funny, but Seth Rogen's kind of, like if you ever follow his Twitter, Seth Rogen's just kind of a wad. Um, and like, <laughs> what are you guys laughing about? <laughs> No, 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 no. When you said Adam bangs Eve, I was like, wait a second. Because in my head, I was like, no, she came from his rib. And then I was like, oh, wait. That's right. That's not, I remember they existed, but I forgot. I was like, wait, how? No, they, she, she came from his rib. That doesn't make sense. I'm like, wait a second. Oh, that's right. Because that happened, they're two different people. They tend, they can bang. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so you're, you're oh cashing out. No, no, no. Because I was like, Eve came from Adam. That's weird. And I was like, ah, uh, no, she did. But then he came into her. Like, I like how we immediately ended up with drunk Bible, not, <laughs> not drunk folklore, <laughs> drunk Bible, which is probably the worst idea anyone's ever oh. had. All right. So okay. So, so, so anyway. So anyway. When we're, when we're done, we're done. Don't okay. get me. Don't get me fucked up. I'll start talking about Genesis. <laughs> uh, <laughs> promise okay, so me you won't get all Genesis. The me three drinks later. Hands on the hips when he said the words Genesis. Oh yeah, we're Phil Collins. We're all about it. And Considering how much, very important question: How accurate is the Temple of Doom to Hinduism? What seven? <laughs> <laughs> Not giving you the scale. I'm just saying seven. Seven. So here's yeah, the deal. I've got a Bible. All right, so, into it. so in order in order to understand Enoch, we, we have to go back a, a few chapters. So um, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, uh, and then and then <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna skip a few steps. So in the beginning, yes. God created the heaven and the earth, and then God creates a bunch of shit, and he's like, you know what, this shit needs people. So he creates Adam, and he and Adam are vibing, but Adam's like, hey, um, my guy Yahweh. Um, I'm kind of lonely down here and like you're cool and all But I'd like another person so God's like I got you and then he steals one of Adam's ribs No, 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 that's not what he said. He went up to God. And he's like yo, we need some bitches in this bitch <laughs> And God was like I your got brother. you bro. I'm trying not to blaspheme No, no he literally My brother! Where, where the, the hose at? at? My, my brother in Christ, where the hose at? Who's Christ? <laughs> And Adam's like, nah, 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 fam, we got you. We, that'll come Can later. We're stressing out Archie. <laughs> it's 
mine is the okay. So so Adam Adam goes to God. <laughs> not not even. That's not even what happens. God's like, I made this man. I made this dude. And this he's guy. like, this this guy, he seems pretty lonely. Um this dude just be in here. And and so basically what happens is God creates everything and he sees that it is good. And then he creates Adam and he doesn't see that it's good. And he's like, ah, this needs balance. So he fucking takes one of Adam's ribs and forms a woman out of it. Um, and, and then you got you got Adam and you got Eve and they're vibing in Eden. And then this this serpent's like, hey, my guys, you should eat some fruit. And Eve Eve's like, ah, yes. Um, the advent of the 21st century when it's not safe to take something from a stranger has not yet occurred. So I'm gonna take this fruit from this strange snake on a tree. And and then <laughs> can we can we do a portion where it's frat guy talk and it's just like the snake came up and was like, hey yo fam, try this lit shit. <laughs> and Eve's like, I don't know about that one, Chief. And he's like, nah, it's tight. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> so so so, so, it's so Adam and Eve that. Adam and Eve are hanging in the Garden of Eden. And there's just a vibe in, and then the snake's like, yo, my guys, eat this fruit. And God's like, literally the only instruction I gave you was don't eat that fruit. And Adam and Eve are like, I mean, listen, it was a very convincing snake. And God's like, what? Um, <laughs> God's out here like, there was one rule, and you fucking pledges couldn't follow it. <laughs> so, so, so God goes, God goes, all right, Adam, Eve, I... I gotta kick you out of the garden. You can't come back. Uh, you know, you go find someone else. And if Adam and Eve go back to the garden, some some dudes can be like, "Who do you know here?" So yeah. So God God <coughs> creates the heaven and the earth and all the birds of of the air and the fish of the sea and the the birds and the beasts the beasts of the land. And He does all that. And he creates Adam and Eve. And Adam and Eve eat the fruit. And they really weren't supposed to eat the fruit. So God's like, "I'm sorry. I, I gotta kick you out. You know, you can go to another Eden. You just can't stay here." Um, and and they go out and they vibe and they have some kids. They have Cain, they have Abel, and then Cain is kind of jealous of Abel and he's like, my guy. And then he whacks him. So Cain whacks Abel. Abel or yeah, Abel dies and Cain's like, oh shit, I didn't know that could happen, because uh, because because it hadn't happened yet. Has nobody died yet? Nobody's died yet. Well, that's kind of an important piece of information for Cain to have, isn't it? Yeah. So Cain's like, oh no, oh my god. And then God comes and he's like, yo. Cain, my child, where's your brother Abel? And Abel, and Cain's like, I don't know, I don't know, man. I don't have to watch out for that bitch. And and then God's like, you know, my guy, I'm God. <laughs> like, I know what you did. I was more asking to like give you the opportunity to confess. And Cain's like, oh man, that would have been smart. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that telling the truth would be a good thing. <laughs> I don't know what lying is. I'm the second person alive. And and so God's like, you know, oh my guy, you're you gotta go. You can't stay here anymore. And Cain's like, but but God, my my buddy, my G, um, I, I'll get killed if I leave. And God's like, it's okay, man. If anyone takes vengeance upon you, then they they shall be avenged sevenfold, which is now a metal band. Um, some pretty tight licks, if I'm being honest. They're pretty yeah. fucking tight, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, so God's like, anyone who commits judgment against Cain will be avenged, will be avenged sevenfold. Um, and that's where Avenged Sevenfold got their name. So if you didn't know that, yeah, Avenged Sevenfold is a Christian metal band. I've just ruined their that. lives. I just um, learned that fact right now. So yeah, so they, they have some, together. okay, so, so then Adam and Eve have another son and his name is Seth. Adam and Eve have Seth. And we get the God Adam, one, Adam and Eve have Seth. Yeah. Not necessarily, there's, but there, there's some confusion. We were getting into it when I'm not sure. Um, oh, well, okay. that, that, oh, no, 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 no. We're going to get into it. No. no, 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 no. We were supposed I, I to be talking about Enoch. No, is Seth, is Seth first generation or? Seth's the first generation after Adam and Eve. He's okay. the first. So uh, second generation. He's of the, he's the he's second. He's the iPhone yes. 2. Sure. He's the iPhone 2. Okay. This was a terrible idea. I'm going to get canceled by the Christians. Yes. So the godly line of Seth is, is from whom the, the patriarchs of Israel descend. So uh, eventually along the line, you get Enoch. And Enoch walks with God, and God loves Enoch. And Enoch's just, God's like, you know what? When I made Adam, I was really thinking I wanted you. And Enoch's like, tight. So God's like, yo, you want to come back to my crib? And then they just descend into heaven, and Enoch's never seen again. Um, except Enoch supposedly wrote some books when he was alive, and those became the books of Enoch. 
And what Enoch tells us, if we believe it, this is of course from the, um, the, the Ethiopic, we, we translated from Ethiopic into English, but um, the Ethiopic is translated from Greek and the Greek is translated from Hebrew. So we're on like translation of four. Uh, yeah, this is a lot. So, so when you read it, there's some parts that do, don't totally make sense. They're like, um, and the angels were as mountains rotating in the void. And you're like, yo, that's tight. Um, <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> nice. Me too. Enoch tells us this story uh, that's actually recounted in, in Genesis 6, where there's a really brief period in Genesis 6 where like, yeah, and some of the angels were like, yo, humans are hot. <laughs> and came down and, and banged a few. Yeah, and, I wonder how ugly, ugly the angels are. Well, then they have like a billion eyes and like three sets of wings. It depends I'm sorry, on this. Are you? I was gonna say king shaming. <laughs> <laughs> so in Genesis, all we get is is that um, the Watchers come down and they have kids with humans, and those kids are kind of monstrous. They're really tall and they're kind of dicks, and mm-hmm. and they they mm-hmm. they they eat people and they fornicate with beasts. And then what? God's, okay. God's like, you know what? This was a mistake. I'm flooding all of this. Well, at least when you say that they fornicate with beasts. At least God was like, yeah, bestiality is where I draw the line. What, what do you mean that they fornicated They with fornicated beasts? with the beasts. What are the beasts? Are the beasts animals? Mm-hmm. So we got tall boys. You got some nine to ten foot tall human beings. Um, Fucking there's... animals? Yeah. That's a really sick ostrich. Those poor... <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Those poor animals. <laughs> Yeah, so um, it was a sick ostrich. <laughs> so, so the the watchers. So, so this is what Genesis says. The Genesis is like the sons of God come down and they have kids with the daughters of men. The the the, the Nephilim kind of are douchebags. So God's like, yo, this is this is kind of ass. I'm gonna flood the whole planet. <laughs> and. <laughs> And then he goes to Noah, and he's like, Noah, you're a pretty chill guy. Um, you can live. Just build a really big boat. And Noah's like, okay. She's okay. Can, can I tell people I'm building the boat? And he's like, yeah, you can tell people you're building the boat. You can even tell them why. And Noah's like, and this won't cause existential dread. And God's like, I don't care. Um, <laughs> Yo, God, I relate with God so much. In this <laughs> God's like, Sh- shouldn't, shouldn't have had the Nephilim then. Yeah, God's um, like, I don't give a shit. I'm just trying again. God's like, Noah, you can survive in the boat. And Noah's like, sick, dog. All right. Um, and and they survive. And then afterwards, God's like, oh, man, you know, maybe that was kind of, like, short-sighted. Like, I, here's a rainbow. I'm not going to do that again. Um, and, <laughs> <laughs> and then Noah's they like... from day 30-something. Uh, Noah's like, oh, wait. Oh, wait, that's really pretty in the sky. Okay, I forgive you. E- so Enoch gives us a much broader view of this, this story that in- essentially just encamp- uh, encompass- encompass- encompasses Genesis like 6-2 through like 6-14. And Enoch tells us a lot more about this. So in Genesis, we get a very like bird's eye view. And it's one of those things where it's like, all right, you just gave us a lot of information and really didn't tell us anything about it. So... Enoch goes into it more deeply. And again, I gotta say, Enoch, again, we don't have evidence that this was written oh, mine? nearly when did you my sock? as far back. <laughs> Enoch Apparently. gives us a tale about how the the watchers, who are these twenty um, these twenty angels who are in charge of taking care of mankind, basically are are hanging out there and on CCTV they're like, yo, some of these humans be hot. Um, we, talk, we covered this already. I know. So they come down on Mount Hermon, and oh, what a oh, brutal this is where name! It all goes spot. down Mount oh. Hermon. Mount yeah. Hermon is the angel spot. human orgy on Mount fucking Hermon. No, no, they come oh, down to Mount Hermon right. and they make a pact, and they're like, "All right, any punishment visited on any of us will be visited Why? equally upon all of us." And they're like, "Yeah, that's a good idea. That'll stick it to them." And each of the twenty gets uh, they they bring ten with them, so it's two hundred total. But they each bring what? ten of their like their their favorite like their their best men. They're like, they're like oh yeah, my my comatons, my my um, my posse. They each bring a posse, and so there's twenty posses. And there's twenty posses just I think going. I just like the word posse. They just go and they go in posse everywhere. They're so anyway, posse. each of these posses goes down and grabs themselves a harem and has some kids. 
So, and, and Nephilim is a word that means those who fall. Uh, we're not sure if this means those who fall from grace, as in like the angels fell from grace and had those kids, or those who fall upon others, as in like those who conquer. But all we know is the Bible says they're great men. But Enoch, Enoch knows some shit. Enoch's like, my guys, there's more to the story. And Enoch goes, and he tells us that they, they had these kids. And each, each of the angels was like, yo, I'm going to teach you something different. And so Simyaz is the leader. But interestingly enough, it's, uh, it's Azazel, the angel Azazel, who teaches all of these, uh, these humans how to craft weapons and armor from metal and also makeup. So anyway, the angels found the military industrial complex and... Found or founded? Founded. Okay. Yeah, so the angels founded the military industrial complex. The angels come down and they teach humans a bunch of shit. And then the archangels find out. And the archangels are like, hey... You're not supposed to be teaching humans how to create weapons out of metal. And also, you're not supposed to fuck them. Like, <laughs> so, so Azazel, Azazel teaches humans how to make weapons and kill each other. And Michael is like, that really wasn't very cool of you. Um, that was not very cash money. I, we're going to take you and here's what we're going to do. And Azazel's like, I don't like where this is going. And Michael's like, so so here's the deal, man. And it's not Michael saying this. I think it's like Raphael who actually gives. He's my favorite Ninja Turtle. Wait, 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 I'm sorry, but as soon as you said it, was like, I don't like, I don't know if I like where this is going. I was like, it sounds like Raphael needs to learn a little bit about consent. <laughs> so so Ra it's either Raphael or Gable, Gable, Gabriel. It's either Raphael or Gabriel. I can't remember off the top of my head. By the way, something interesting about all this, uh, the word L. In Hebrew, it means generally means, it means most high. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's talking about, so God's name is, is El. Uh, one of, one of God's high. names is El. And it means the most high. Or Elion means the most high. But I... Uh, Wait. So, but here's the thing. Listen, so the, the words. Think about the words of all the, all the names of the archangels. So God's a stoner. No. Stop. Um, so I think about all the, all the names of the angels. <laughs> you've, got, you've got Mike El, Gabriel uh, Raphael, Uriel, Castiel. My favorite uh, Ninja Turtles. What other Michelangelo L. Uh, <laughs> so I'm surprised you didn't name your turtle something else. Well, her turtle's a guy named Lola. So <laughs> my turtle's named after the Kink song Lola. Lola, Lola, Lola. Okay. Lola, 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 Lola. So the archangels are like, "Here's the deal, guys. We're gonna take you <laughs> and." We're going to bind you with chains, right? And Azazel's like, kinky. kinky. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. So, and then and then Michael's like, and we're going to throw you in a pit. And Semyaz is like, kinky. So Michael's like, yeah, um, open up the fucking pit. And everyone's like, oh, we got a mosh? And he's like, no, I'm going to rotate you over fire for eternity while you're chained. And they're like, oh, that's less fun. I'm going to be honest. Like, that's about as far as I read into Enoch so far. But what's important about this is that the book's like, yeah, so the angels who are as mountains in chains are rotating in the abyss, and you're like, yo, that's metal as fuck. Um, but to kind of give you guys the, the, the general idea here, basically, you know, like, Adam and Eve have some kids, one of those kids kills the other kid, and then they have another kid, and that kid's name is Seth, which is really stupid. Um... Uh, and Seth has the godly line, Enoch's part of the godly line, and Enoch absolutely drops some fucking knowledge on us, where he's like, all this shit happened, and it just isn't in the Bible, um, because we can't tell if it's actually, like, canon, or if some dude just smoked a lot of DMT and then wrote some shit, but basically what happens is, you know, we get this story of, like, the, the, the watchers, the angels in charge of keeping humanity safe come down, and they get themselves some hose, and they vibe for a little while, and the archangels are like, you shouldn't have done that. And God's like, I'm going a, I'm to a flood the entire world. And then it's possible, looking back on it, also the Irish exist at this point, apparently. Um, so God, God does his thing, and the world floods, and some of the Nephilim survive and become the Wendigo. So that's basically the theory here, I guess. I just love that you drop in the fact that the Irish just exist at some point. Well, yeah, in, in the Leva Gvalna Eren, it says that uh, the people of Kassar, Kassar being one of the, uh, yeah. I think, well, like, the niece, 
if I remember correctly, like the niece of Noah. The people of Kisser go to Ireland, and um, all the men die on the voyage except one man. And that dude is so stressed out by the idea of repopulating the earth that he turns into a salmon. Um, wait, also, wait, wait, the fish? Yeah. So, also, I mean, this, wait, one wait, dude, wait. this one man got so many bitches that he became a salmon. Did he become a regular salmon or did he become a horny salmon? No, because he became... Different. No, no, no. So... What? First of all, what? <laughs> Second of all... Um, no, this so this, this, this one man... Is this shit? I'm too film major to understand. Shut the fuck up and I'm just some knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> so, Noah... Noah's like my oh. child. I need you to sail west and go out past Spain, and they're like, what the fuck is Spain? <laughs> and Noah's like, just go past Spain, and they're like, okay. And then go north, <laughs> and when you get, yes, Archie. So this guy, th this this man, this man goes to Ireland with some of the, with, with some absolutely prime specimens of like pre-Bronze Age humanity. And um, so many of them die so all the men die, and he's like, yo, fuck this shit, I'm gonna be a salmon. And he becomes a salmon, but he's only a one-eyed salmon. And that then, like, like a flounder. hundreds, thousands of years later, thousands of years later, this man comes back and tells the king of Israel that he was a salmon. Wait, so he turns into a salmon, then he turns back into a man? He turns back into a man and tells the king of Israel <laughs> that he's a salmon. Was he a horny salmon, though? He was, a, he was oh, not a yeah, horny he salmon. Was. He was a salmon that was so unhorny, he became a salmon. The the takeaway here, I suppose, is that um, if, if angels come down to Earth and they bang some people, then uh, you might turn into a salmon. I don't know if that's a good deal. It might be a good deal, depending on how much you want to be a salmon. So yeah, anyway, um, done, <laughs> I'm Aiden. <laughs> Are you sure? You don't look very sure uh, about that right I'm now. Aiden Mattis, and... Call Archie over. Ca Archie, come here, buddy. The boy! So, uh, so anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm Aiden Mattis, and thanks for stopping by the Lore Lodge. <laughs>